Ancient Gears, Ubel, Ragnarok. There's a lot of cards that we're kind of expecting to see out here for Animation Chronicle 2024. <laughs> Make sure you guys smash something crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. I'm, I'm really hoping that honestly Ragnarok is in this set. Activate only while there is any two Dark Sage, Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl, or Magician of Black Chaos on the field. Remove from play all monsters in the hand deck and graveyards and destroy all your opponent's monsters. Many of you might be familiar with the events and power of Ragnarok as this card was used to crater the winged dragon of Ra and the power of the magicians. It was actually, they need to make a card and the power of the gods was the only thing that they could do to do it. Next up here is Fiend Rose. After activation, this card becomes an equip card that is equipped to a monster you control. The equipped monster cannot be destroyed by battle and you take no battle damage from battles involving the equipped monster. If this card is removed from the field, destroy that uh, monster. I'm gonna love the selection of trap cards out here that are just kind of available to really consider for options. We've also got Zero Hole. Activate only when an opponent's effect monster effect activates when it is summoned. Negate that effect and if you do destroy that monster. Can we, can we change this to be a trap hole? Because I actually think that there could be some potential for the idea behind this card to be able to just be a trap hole-esque card. Sorts of effects like this are actually kind of worth exploring. Then we have zero sprite. Why is why is a monkey on this? Equip this card to a face-up monster you control. Its original attack becomes zero. That monster can that monster can attack twice during each battle phase. In what world did we need to make this card into a reality? Like, just think about that for a second. What purpose do you serve? Next up is the last trick. If your opponent activates a spell card that would be sent to the graveyard this turn, add that card to your hand instead of sending it to the graveyard. This is the ability to steal super polymerization from your opponent. Imagine, like, you could just steal a specific spell card that you need in a specific mirror match after it gets used against you. Or, you know, taking a sinful spoil out of the graveyard. Next up is the Thousand Buster. Pay a thousand life points, destroy all face-up defense position monsters on the field with 1,000 or less defense, and all face-up attack position monsters on the field with 1,000 or less attack. Then both players take a thousand damage. This is just, you take 2,000 damage to board wipe your opponent. Like, hmm, I don't know about that. Next up is the Super Fusion God. Now, you might not know this, but this is a this is very interesting. The, so, the question mark, question mark, question mark, fusion effect. The fusion material monsters for this card are one monster of each level from 1 to 12. This card cannot be special summon except with super polymerization. Um, this card is a blank slate. I don't physically understand a way that you could make this because... You would have to have, in current Yu-Gi-Oh, this is going to take 12 monsters. You need to have six on each side of the field um, in the extra monster zone in order to make this card. So think about that for a second. All right, this is, this is so crazy. Next up is Spiritual Fusion. During the turn you activate this card, if your opponent conducts a fusion summon, you can choose the fusion monsters used for the fusion summon. Imagine if if the extra deck was actually larger and you could troll your opponent with sorts of options with this, or if if you could make the polymerization misfuse. Like this this would be kind of cool. Next up is piping pipes. Oh, we have the melodious stuff here. While this card is equipped to a melodious monster, your opponent cannot target monsters for attacks except the equipped monster. During either player's turn, if a player if a player would take effect damage, you can make the equipped monster gain attack equal to that damage, and if you do, make that damage zero. That is so hilarious for an interaction for... Okay. Slow tempo. Monsters cannot attack during the turn. They are normal summoners. So, hey, look, it's Vengeful Bog Spirit on a continuous spell card, you know? The cards like this... Honestly, this is kind of a scary floodgate, like, imagine. But this is only restricted to normal summoned monsters, so it doesn't stop your opponent from doing a full special summon. 
Uh, fusion cycle. Target one monster in your opponent's graveyard that was used as fusion material for a fusion summon this turn. Social summon it to your side of the field in attack position. It cannot be destroyed by battle this turn. This would make mirror matches interesting. Melodious Rhyme Rhythm Challenge? Yeah. Target one melodious monster on the field, return it to the hand. Aim to do special summon a melodious monster from your hand. If this let me special from the deck, I might give this a consideration. And then we have Musical Mayhem. Inflict 800 damage to your opponent for each melodious monster you control. This is garbage. I would not be caught dead playing this. Now, we have ancient gear cards. This is the stuff I'm curious about. Crazy Summon Gear. Select one face-up monster your opponent controls and one monster in your graveyard with 1,500 or less attack. Your opponent must special summon up to two monsters from their deck with the same type and level as that selected monster. You must special summon your selected monster and all other monsters with the same name from your hand deck or graveyard. So your opponent must special summon up to two. So if they can't special summon at all and you just pipe out all of this ancient gear stuff, this is potentially, I, I could see this being a very real card. Um, Desperate Battle. Activate only during your battle phase. Select one face of monster you control. It loses a thousand attack till the end of the battle phase, but it can attack twice. Oh man, what I always wanted. My ancient gear butt crusher 9000 machine going from 4000 down to 3000 to attack twice. Unfinished Time Box. Activate only if a monster you control is destroyed by battle. Remove from play that monster of battle and draw one card. When this card is destroyed, return that monster removed from play by this effect to the field. Okay, well, I mean, that's pretty decent, I feel like. Ancient Gear Statue. You attribute this card as well as an Ancient Gear Golem from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. Okay. Now, if this gave me the ability to attribute it to special summon ancient gear from the hand or deck, I would be 100% in on this. This is the type of stuff that we do need to actually see get made into real cards. Like, I like this card a lot. Level Thunder. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined levels of all face of monsters you control times 100. This is garbage. Ancient Armageddon Gear. If a monster on the field is destroyed, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that destroyed monster's attack on the field. So just destroy this card during your next standby phase actor activation. Okay, well this, this could be a problem. <laughs> ancient Gear Double Imitation. Target up to two Ancient Gear monsters in either graveyard. Special summon them to your field, but they have their effects negated. No! Why? Why do Ancient Gears get a salvage? Next up is Ancient Gear Scrap Fusion. Target any number of Ancient Gear monsters in any of the graveyards. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck, using all monsters in the graveyard as fusion material, but its effects are negated. No. Ancient Gear Booster. Once per turn, if an Ancient Gear you control activates an effect that would inflict damage, you can double that effect damage. That's funny. Ancient Gear Reverse Fusion. If an Ancient Gear monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect. Target one of those monsters. Special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists that monster as fusion material. And the fusion summon is treated, or the, the summon's treated as a fusion summon? That's nuts. Ancient Gear Spark Shot. If exactly one Ancient Gear is special summoned from the graveyard while you control no monster, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of the special summon monster. I guess it's a ping 15. Fusion Dispersal. When a fusion monster declares an attack, targeting... To target that attacking monster, return it to the extra deck if you do in the battle phase. And then if all the fusion materials are listed for that fusion summon monster in the graveyard, so I'm going to summon all of them to your opponent's side of the field and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack that the fusion monster with the highest attack, your choice if tied. That's kind of dumb. Fusion Trench. Monsters cannot attack except fusion monsters. Oh, that's broken. Once return if the controller of a fusion monster did not normal summon or fusion summon, or special summon a non-fusion monster this turn. One fusion monster they control can attack directly. Oh, that's broken. Oh, a double ancient gear hunting hound. An ancient gear hunting hound plus an ancient hunt er, hound hunting hound. If this card attacks, your opponent cannot activate spell and trap cards until the end of the damage step. During either player's turn, if a monster is or monster monster is a normal special summon to your opponent's side of the field, you place one gear counter on that monster max one. At the start of the damage step, if a monster with a gear counter battles, you destroy that monster. Oh boy, we're getting into alien support here. And then we have the Oh, we have the triple ancient gear hunting hound. It's triple copies of this card. 
This card can make up to three attacks on monsters during each battle phase. If this card attacks, your opponent can activate Fall Trap cards till the end of the damage step. Okay. Then we have the ultimate ancient gear hunting hound. It's a triple plus an ancient gear monster. When fusion summoned, your when your opponent's life points is halved. This card can make three attacks on uh, during each battle phase. If this card attacks, your opponent can activate Swollen Trap cards. This is four monsters to make, but it's got 2,800 attack points and it has your opponent's life points. Um, wow. Interesting. To say the least. A lot of interesting stuff back here for Animation Chronicles. Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. So your beautiful faces back. You learned it, guys. Peace. Patrons! Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.